hey guys welcome back thanks for watching so we've got far too much to get through this week so i'm not going to talk too much but if you're a budding singer musician or you're working a nine to five and you want to get into the session world this is the perfect video for you so check it out so guys i am so excited to have Michelle osborne my okay. sister from another mister <laughs> and we're joined also by the beautiful Delia, Delia. who's like the number one music fan in London oh, yeah. number one she's like she acts like she's my fan but she's a real music fan really but um, <laughs> we're just catching up with Misha because Misha's in London she oh. she just ditched us ditched us for New York I feel hurt by it I'm you, saying that. you did I didn't ditch anybody you did I didn't. She just decided one day, I'm going to New I York. took a journey, I'm taking a journey. Yeah. So, <laughs> follow your dreams. Yeah. yeah. Following your dreams is what I'm very proud of you for doing. So, yeah. I, I'm messing with you. Like, yeah, <laughs> as much as I know, you know, that I'm messing with you, I actually admire the decision that you took mm. to leave. So, obviously, you're back in London for a couple of weeks. Yes. And it would be only right for me to ask you a few questions about what's going on for you of right course. now. Of course. Um, so, how is New York? What's it like? Gosh, New, New York is a lot of things. <laughs> it's a lot of things. Um, I really love it. I yeah. really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, which is the reason why I made a, a decision to move there. Um, it can sometimes be very intense. Um, it has a lot of similarities to there, but a lot of different. But overall, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying life out there. It's good for me to come home, take yes. a break, take a breather. I miss, I miss my friends, I miss my family. Although, like we keep saying, we talk all the time. I know, but it's different it's, in the flesh. It's like not the same. keeps complaining that I haven't seen her for weeks, and she lives in Stamford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've probably spoken to you more times than you've spoken to me. Well, nah. no. But you've spoken to Dili more I mean, times. <laughs> So obviously I know the, the path <laughs> up until New York. So just talk yeah. about what you what you do and like what you did and how you ended up in New York. Okay, so um, so after I finished studying, the first job I went into uh, was like a nine to five. She did a nine to five guys. I did nine to five. I did that for about three years, I think. About three years. And halfway through that time period, I was like, I have to get out of this. This is not for me. So my first uh, reaction was I need to find another job. Right. And then I realised over a period of time, even if I go to another job, I'm going to be right back at this place in a few months' time. Mm. You know, in a year's time or whatever. And I knew that music was tugging me. Yeah. So I planned as much as I could. I saved as much as I could. I got myself out there as much as I could. And the time came, you know, you're going to leave your job for security to become self-employed. So I did that. Yeah. Um, I started doing music full time in London, doing a whole lot of teaching. She did a load of gigs. She worked with Jesse J, she worked with The Wanted. Who else? Um, Gloria Gaynor. Gloria Gaynor, Justin Emily Brown, Sunday. Emily Sunday. Yeah, so like, it's, been a good, um, it's been a good run, man. Yeah. It's been a really good run. Yeah. Um, then I began to see on the horizon things that don't necessarily happen yeah. in London yeah. in a big way. Different genres of music, a lot of soul, a lot of R&B. A lot of gospel that happens on a bigger, um, yeah, bigger platform. Um, then I started visiting New York, yeah. and immediately fell in love with the city. Yeah, it's not necessarily relevant, but obviously you're a bass player. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a female bass player. I mean, normally that shouldn't be an issue, but it's obviously something that's come up quite right. a few times of for course. you. Yeah. Um, so, what has been a female bass player from London done for you in New York? I think. Being a female musician, as we all know, you're in a min minority. Mm. So it's like, oh, okay, this is different. This yeah. is different to what I'm used to. Yeah. Let me see what you're about, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then they hear you play and they're like, oh, she can actually play. This is, this will look good. Yeah. You know, this feels good. <laughs> you know, it's a whole ball game, yeah. different ball game. And then when they find out you're from London, it's a whole number of women, yeah. and I didn't actually think that when I first came. I was unaware of how much of a it seemed to be a big thing for them yeah. until they started reacting to it. Right. Um, so being female, being British, is something that they don't see very often. And it was definitely something that worked in my favour, and it was working in my favour. And so I've learned to 
you know, before, before yeah, that was a problem, like, like here we go. And now it's like, yeah, what's, man. The, what's the downsides? What have you felt like in terms of being a female and a musician? What has been the issue for you in terms of how you feel about it? Um, or how people have reacted to you? The negative, in my perspective, in your perspective. I think as with anywhere I've been, both here and in New York, it's like, oh, can you play? The you expectations know? are quite low. Yeah, yeah. Although it's, it's it's been different in New York, I must say. They at least give you a chance. But you always have to be like, okay, you've got one chance in there. You know, you better, you better do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, what would you? say to someone who is currently in a nine-to-five job really wants to do music as a full-time job but is not sure about how to make the jump or even if they should make the jump or what 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 do you have to consider doing that I mean right. I know because I've done the same yeah and I understand what it's like to go from a job of security and knowing that you're gonna earn a certain amount of money at the end of the month every mm. month there's no difference and you know it's secure but what would you say having done it yourself to someone who's considering yeah I, that's a very good question and you said you said two things whether they want to do it and whether yeah. they should do it yeah. and that's actually two things to consider because we there's loads of things we all want to do yeah but we probably shouldn't do <laughs> especially when it I guess when it comes to career but I think to figure out whether you should actually do it you have to assess like how passionate am I about this? yeah how good am I yeah am I competent enough to do yeah. yeah. Not in just your ability, but in your, I would say, your mental state. Like, yeah. us as musicians and singers, oh my God, we put ourselves Through on the chopping block yeah. every time. So yeah. you have to, I think, have the, the backbone to say, you know what, I'm going to go through this, despite not backs, despite doors closing. Mm. We get rejected so many times, mm. auditions, bands changing, um, circles not necessarily accepting us, mm. you know what I mean? And you have to be like, through all that, I want this so bad, I'm yes. going to keep us thinking. And what steps can you do? What, how can you start preparing? Because it's not something you just decide, oh, hello, I'm going to go full time today. Right. You know, what, what do you do to get to the point where you're like, okay, I'm ready to leave my job if you decide that it's for you? For you, right. I mean, for me, I'm like, the way that I see it is that you can never really know whether something's for you until you try it. Absolutely. And it's and not something you can actually predict as to how successful or unsuccessful you will be. Right. What can you do from before you decide? Okay. So, yeah, no. So, so once you you figure that out, I think there's a couple of things you need to plan. Yeah. You need to save. Yeah. Like, save your money. <laughs> Put your money aside. Yeah. And um, build up a cushion. Yeah. Um, you also need to network. Yeah. You need to leave your house and be where the musicians are. Yeah. And be there on a regular basis. Yeah. Be there consistently. Yeah. They know your face. Yeah. Get involved. Yeah. Don't turn up to a jam night and don't play. There's no point in you being. Yeah. The other thing is practice. Yeah. Figure out what what are these guys doing and what did they do? Yeah. And girls. Yeah. And what what did they do to get there? Um, should I be learning how to sight read? Should I be building repertoire? Should I be learning chops? Yeah. Should I be learning the electronical side of, yeah. of playing? Yeah. You know, pads, simps, triggers, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, and start educating yourself so that you have loads of different branches. Yeah. You need to start yeah. immediately. And you need to keep doing do it consistently. Like, don't do it for two or three months. Yeah. Do it for the whole year. Yeah. And if you have to do it for year two as well. But, but you've got to work. And, you, and even when you are working, you keep, still got to keep working. That's why it's hard, man. So I'm that's a, why I'm here switching off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm switching right off. Listen, this one is <laughs> Like, yeah, man. this young lady is the baddest bass player in London. Oh, Delia, right. am I lying? I'm for that. Yeah. We're about to go to Rick's gig. Ricky Mitchell, my brother in law, is having a gig maybe down the corner, so we're gonna just go and support. It's not everyday gigging, some days you support the people that you love. So we're gonna head over there, have a good time, shout and scream. We're gonna come to support Ricky! Ricky! Ricky Mitchell! We're just tiny fish in this big pond, and there ain't no reason we can't get along. Just don't hold Basically, we just come out of the gig and like, 
internet's hit. I'm super hit. bad just to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everyone's just hanging out. We're about to go home. Had a great night. Not every day, gig. Some days you come out, you support your friends, you hang out, you enjoy the vibe. What's wrong with you? It's amazing. Yeah, this is normal. But it was a great show. Teresa, was like that? Woman of the night. Red shot, right? Exactly. She plays the bass like a bear. Mofo. I was not swearing. No, 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 no. Anyway, we're out. Right? Nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Next week, we're going to be doing a frequently asked questions video, which is all the questions you want to ask industry professionals about being a session musician or singer. So, we'd love to get your questions. Hit us up on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, the works. We want to hear your questions. We're going to put them out and we have the answers for you next week. Tune in, hit the subscribe button below. Can't wait to see you next week. Oh. People like people die. Trying to take a crash.